So, yeah, I got this at the pawn shop for $60. And all it needed was a new control dashboard. So, I ordered one for about $44 off of Amazon. Hooked it up after having to order some of these uh, security screw driver bits because it was impossible to get into. So I just pressed this button, powered it on. Of course I did like hours of research to make sure I didn't fry it, but um, once it's powered on, I hit scan. Let me see, Let's zoom this in. Scans for it. There it is. I found it. For now, I'm not going to update the, the firmware. I'll press later. It says I have 25 kilometers left, which I guess I can go to the settings here. And go to units. Go to Imperial. Imperial. I have 15 miles left, so I'm gonna put it all back together. They state that there, it came with some instructions too that maybe it won't change modes, but on the app it does allow me to like go into energy recovery level. It has regenerative braking, so I can tell it. Um, I want it to charge the battery as I'm going down the hill. Kind of makes it wiggle a little bit because the braking kicks in. But kind of like a Prius, you can rename it, put a password on it, hit lock when you're at the. Go to 7 Eleven, lock it. When you try to push it, it like makes these crazy noises. Let me see if I can get it to do it. Alarm! Alarm! You're trying to steal my motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So, after that, I'm gonna flash uh, this custom firmware. Um, so, push it on the buzzer of your dashboard and on the wires, can... and then just push it out. Drive that into my documents and then into my Open OCD folder, just anywhere in there, just chuck it in there, and then type program and then the name of your firmware. So, for me, it is going to be full ble.min. And there you go, press enter, and you can see programming has started. And just give it a few seconds here to finish programming. It'll give you a finished message. Once again, if you receive any errors here, um, just go back, check your wiring, make sure you type in these commands in exactly the right order. You desoldered C15. So we'll flash um, it. Still have any issues. Uh, but in order to flash it, if... Or Check it by sliding it off the I top. should be able to use this this Bluetooth app. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, to just flash it, but if I can't, then I actually have to solder to it. I ordered one of these pieces in the mail. I just skip this step and use the header pins. It's basically so I can. Want to be able to kind of tack them on. ST Link's also off chip on the corner. It's a little pesky guy. You're gonna to want to remove that. So for this, so I, I gotta remove that the best technique is just. I'm going to flash the original the one. The I mean the the, the bird. Hey, Once that's off, we're going to I'm gonna flash that one, and then I'm going to, to put a custom firmware on it. So, so in order to put a custom firmware, I have to I have to learn how to solder four wires. Yep. Once I solder those. Then I can flash that. Yep. So I was just wanting to give you a good, uh, good rundown of how simple it is to pick you up a bird. This is the ES1. ES1. The ES2 would have probably been more complicated, and you can't just flash the custom firmwares as easily. So pretty glad I got lucky. I live in Anaheim, California, so. There's a lot of bird scooters all throughout Los Angeles. So I'm gonna pick up as many as I can.
So yeah, I basically have like a Segway. You know the mall cops, they ride on Segways. I have a Segway scooter that was like $600 new. I looked up uh, on the app that flashes it. I can scan the battery and the battery's only been charged 25 times and it's gone through seven life cycles. So, yeah. Ah, oh, don't show the dishes. <laughs> This is my little closet area. Everything's messy right now, which is good to show you because this is the before. For when my son Archer comes over, I keep the uh, all the cleaner supplies up here. I'm going to build a recording studio after I save up a couple of hundred of these. That's for soundproofing the studio. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, most people put silverware inside these containers. Uh, these holders, I... I can't show the bathroom, it's way too small and it's got to be remodeled. But yep, yeah, this is going to change my life. Now that I have a bird scooter, I can, uh, I can go about 20 miles on econo mode, so everything's within a mile here, a mile or two miles. Right now I'm going to put it together and run to 7-Eleven and get me a Slurpee. Slurpee time! Alright, thanks for listening. <laughs> thanks for watching and listening because I talked the whole time. Sorry you're getting dizzy. Oh, I didn't show you my little shrine. This is, uh, this is a bus I found. I ride this bus every day. This is the OCTA bus. And I found that on the ground while trying to catch the bus. It was fun. It was funny to see that. So I grabbed that. Peace begins with you. This kind of reminds me of... Uh, of uh, Archer going to the beach hanging out. I made this lamp. I cut off the top and switched it around underneath to, in order to use it because I needed a light in the corner. When I first moved in here I just kept everything dark. But uh... Yeah. Okay enough rambling. Besides I did find this in uh, the trash too. My uh, my Roland keyboard and my Squire amp was in the dumpster. Yep. All right. Later. I finished the solder. This is the dashboard that came in the Segway scooter. And it's been locked down to only work with Bird. This little chip I burnt right here off. The C15. I had to burn that off because it blocks the Bluetooth from resetting the firmware. That was crazy, burning off a computer chip. And then I had to solder this one, which it has a big glob on it, but it's touching one of these terminals, like on the C17. I just had to do it, solder it to one side of it. But that's what's underneath the green one. And then they go into, let's see, on oh, here's the labeling on the USB drive. You got ground and SWDIO, SW click, 3.3 volt. So I got the, I got the green to the 3.3, the purple to the SWK, the yellow to the ground, and the blue to the SWD. Alrighty. And that's my 99 cent solder gun. <laughs> Good to go. It says it finished programming it, so program finished. I typed in N-I-N-I-T, -I enter reset halt, enter in our F51 space mass underscore erase enter and then it asked me to uh, type in program full BLE bin and it programmed it it said I had to erase it first so that's what YouTube can do you just follow directions now I gotta desolder it and make sure we're removing that 
positive wire wired to my capacitor. You don't accidentally desolder your capacitor, that would be very annoying. And we can start popping everything back into our handlebar assembly. So you can just put in this plastic piece first. Cool.